What's poppin'? Hello. Uh, we're Trust Nobody. I'm Master. Oh, I'm Ran. And this Trust the Process. This is our last episode. And Final episode. We're interviewing each other, I guess, or having yeah. a conversation. I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to see how it goes. might be awkward. I don't know. might not be awkward, <laughs> might honestly. Not. We honestly might just end up talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what's going to happen. For sure, maybe. But, like, bro, how was your morning? How this did you morning? Wake up? Yeah. yeah. What I time was, did you sleep, actually? I went, I went to bed at, um, I want to say 12 type shit. Oh, that's the not party. bad. Yeah. Yeah, we threw a party yesterday. Shout out everyone that came. Shout out everyone who helped yeah. us. Pitch you know. Asadi, um, Pitch all the DJs, Rash, Yonko, Adrian. Pretty human. All like, our friends that, um. Literally. Yeah. Love that's, y'all. Yeah, I'm so tired. Shout out Yerba Mate for <laughs> yeah, keeping Yerba me awake Mate. that whole yeah, time. Yeah, I should have brought some Yerba. No, it's so crazy, too. Oh, we should have brought some Yerba. Yeah. Do I have some in my car? No, I don't. Those vibes. How was your, how was your, how'd you sleep? Honestly, I slept pretty well. I slept late. I got home at, like, 2. Yeah. And we ended up sleeping at, like, 3. What'd y'all do after, though? Because I went, I got Burger King and went to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. Burger King. Yeah. That was, like, my treat. No cap. BK, uh I have it your way. <laughs> and you had it your way. And I'm going to have did. it my way. Uh, I went to Skinny Louie. Okay. Um, shout out Skinny Louie. I, I want them to collab with us. So I'm about. collab with them. That'd be fire. Their stickers kind of look like our, our shit. Like our vibe. Yeah, it kind of looks like dope. our shit. But we had Skinny Louie. Um, then we just went back, talk shit. Mm. Um, literally DJed for a bit. That's fun. It was fun. DJing after DJ. Bro, I, my feet were killing me. I don't know if yeah. I'm built for this DJ shit, actually. How many, how many times you DJ yesterday Bro, at the party? I was like, I was like in and out. Like consecutively, I was going for like about 30 minutes. Like, because Ben was holding it down at first, then Ianko started going, then I was like in between. But like, mm. there was a part when me and him were B2Bing. I sat down, I got up, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. Let me sit back down. Yeah. And yeah, he it was fun. Like it was hot yesterday too, bro. Like it, it was, was really so hot. It was so hot. Yeah. It was hot. And I, I didn't even hop in the pool. We gave water though, and we had extra water. Yeah, we Now did. I have water in my house. Yeah, I should have drunk water. I caught a cramp yesterday, supposedly from being what? dehydrated, but I could a be getting horse? old. Yeah, I could be getting old, You're right? Old no cap. Ad. Yeah, no type <laughs> shit. But um, yeah. How did you feel about the party? It was cool. That's like our first like official trust nobody event. Yeah, if you missed it. I feel so bad for you. Yeah, that shit was so fun. It was, it was um, so fun. I swam. I didn't think I was going to swam. Yeah, I ain't getting the water. I don't no. be getting my hair wet. I ain't going to lie. Bro, you're literally getting a retwist. I'm like. a bad bitch. Nah. Please. <laughs> I nah, because um, what's it called? I'm not messing up this shout place. Out, shout out Noelle. That's my, she be doing my hair for me. Yeah. If not my sister. But Can she's, she do my hair? Nah, this is an exclusive Aster Fuck thing. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to steal her. You could try, you bro. Get her to do you could try. You could try. But like, um... She's on vacation right now, so whatever. Yeah. So, like, I get my hair done next weekend type shit. Damn. We was too busy this weekend anyway. You're going to be down bad for a week? It's, it's vibes. It's vibes. I, like, I'm going to take my hair out. you wear your hair out? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, the froze out. For how long? For a week? I don't know. You're going to do it for I don't one like, day. I don't like it out too long, bro. That, sh- that should be getting, like, the too... internalized racism. Nah. Crazy. It'd be too hard to manage, bro. Like, I'm not... I, I can't, like, take care of it, like, how I want to. I feel I, like, on it, no, I get that. Because yeah. when your hair is out, like, you're just, what is it? Um, Susceptible to the elements. Yeah, it's just mad shit. human and shit. Yeah, and it, it doesn't stay the way it is in, at home. Yeah. And you get to work. By the time you get to work, shit's already, like, Yeah, I'm just looking crazy. Time. And then, like, I just always, ever since I was a kid, I always had a problem, like, just touching my hair, bro. Like, just mm. touching it, which is why, like, it's better. It's in the protective style because, like, then I'm not, like, just pulling on it and tugging it. Yeah. Like, at all. T- like, it's okay when I do this, but, like, bro, I used to Everything. rip my hair out unconsciously when I was a kid, bro. Like, like yeah. from the boys? From the boys? Who's doing that? That, uh, the, the, the assistant. Not the assistant. Bro, bro the weird one. You might have passed me because I, I stopped watching the boys at some point. Oh, really? Yeah. I, st- I think I think it got to that season with Stormfront. That's a good season. She was annoying the fuck out of me. Bro, bro. Ex- just wait. Yeah, she was kind of cringe. Uh, I was like, I was like. Just wait. Cause little, I kind of spoiled it for myself, Loki. What'd you spoil? The boy spoilers ahead. Yeah, this is a spoiler alert. Because she's old as fuck. Of course she's yeah, she old as shit. And then like, I found she was like a Nazi and shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry, like, Phil. That Sorry, spoiler for me, Phil. 
That cringe on top of cringe. Yeah, like. but it got it got cringy. But I I want to watch Gen. Do you watch Gen Gen V? Is that what it is? Yeah. Did you watch it or no? Bro, I did watch it, okay. and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep watching it because one of the actors died. Oh uh, yeah. And he was like a main role. Yeah. Like he was actually like the main character. Okay. So I'm just like, was he actually the main character or just one of them? He like? wasn't the main character, but I feel like they were gonna make him. No, he was a yeah, main potential character. Yeah, potential to be yeah, like... Yeah, you know when shows have, like, four main characters? Yeah, 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 Yes, but there's, like, the one mainest character. Okay. Because they follow her storyline from, like, the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Do you think anyone gave us questions on IG? Yeah, yeah I got questions from, like, I didn't Instagram and, and TikTok. Mm. But no, no, I got questions for you, though. <laughs> I plead the fifth. This is, no, 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 no. Cause I, it's, just, it's a lot of stuff I don't know about you. Like, okay. You feel me? Oh, um, stuff I do kind of know and then whatever. So like, obviously, like you're like you're like you're like from the DMV. And yeah. then Prior to here, you were in Tampa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like, where where did you start? I don't. Like, where were you where born? Where did I start? Like, where were you? How did you find yourself from like DMV to Tampa to Miami? I think that's how it goes. No, no. Yeah, DMV, okay. Tampa, Miami. Well, yeah. I was born in Maryland. Um, because my mom, shout out mom also, love you mama, and it's Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, I was born in Maryland, I lived in DMV for like 14 years, moved in 8th grade, you know, parents got divorced, mom said fuck that shit, we're out. Um, we went to Tampa. Oh, that's when you moved to Tampa, when mm -hmm. you got divorced, okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't understand, I, I didn't understand what, when that happened. But yeah. I guess that makes sense because your, your dad's in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah my dad's still in sense. Virginia. Um, and I love Virginia. It's honestly, it's really great to go back to, but I feel like to live, it's a great place to like live and raise a family, kind of like, you know, suburban. What, what part? Because I went to Virginia, but I was in Richmond. And it was yeah. it was, it was cool, but I was kind of like, this is kind of boring, low key. It's so boring. Yeah. But like, because I'm close to DC, like, so I can just take the metro in 20 minutes, I'm in DC. So like Nova, Northern Virginia is lit. It's so it's so fun, especially where I live, like McLean, like and Vienna, Tyson's area. It's like a mix of suburban city, so it's like it's nice. You get a really good mix. But then I moved to Tampa. I was in. Do you miss it? DMV. Yeah. Loki. Sometimes. Yeah. I miss the accessibility of shit. Like, I could take the metro, and then my friend could pick me up, and I'm like, we all move. What's motion? Especially because I don't have a car there. So, like, you know, it's fun. But there's no, like, I mean, when I was there, obviously I was legit, so I wouldn't know. But, like, there was no scene like this. And I feel like I wouldn't, like, enjoy it if I wasn't out. Obviously, I feel like if you know people who are doing stuff, then you will be in places. But it, I don't know if, I haven't explored it, but I'm like, is my vibe there? Is, is that my city for real? It's my city. I love it. When I go back, like, I'm just, like, out and about on the town, but music-wise, I'm like, I don't know anything about it. Okay, you, know? you talking about... DMV. DMV, what about Tampa? But Tampa, Tampa, there is a lot of music stuff yeah. going on, but I wasn't really involved in high school because I was in a super conservative school, so, like, I wasn't really, like, doing music like what that. What school did you go to? UAF. That's what, the, the high school? Universal okay. Academy of Florida. Okay. It was a private school. Yeah. So, like, it was, like, K through 12. Yeah. Or, I think, pre-K through 12, too. And it was an Islamic school. So, like, bro, I got there. And I transferred mid-year. And I was an all-county choir in eighth grade. And I was gassed because I was the only person in my school who made it. Shout out um, Farnell Middle School choir. But, yeah, I was, like, yo, I'm the shit. I'm an all-county. Where's your choir at? They're, like... What's that? <laughs> we don't have one of those. <laughs> yeah. We don't have one of those. They had yeah. a this thing called Mist. It was like a Muslim interscholastic tournament. Yeah. And you could compete in different categories. And one of the categories was Nasheed. Mm. And Nasheed is like Islamic music. Like yeah. Kind of like gospel. Yeah. But remix Islamic version. Okay. So we, you could like write songs and like make you know, and you perform it, and you win first, second, third, and then you can compete nationally. And actually, that was my fucking villain origin story mm. because I literally got rejected from the team. Like, they did auditions, and, like, I got rejected yeah. two years in a row. They only let me on the second year because one of the girls dropped. And That's I was crazy. like, bro, it this was... Is for, this is for... This is for, like, the Nasheed group, like, because there was a girls' group and a guys' yeah. group. So you would have to compete for your team, yeah. which would be your school, and then to be on that team, and then 
you compete in the you audition for your team. So I was like, when I got rejected, I was like, y'all see me bringing my guitar to school every day. First of all, you guys literally told me to stop bringing my guitar to school because haram or whatever. Anyways, um, wait, wait, you. There's no individual? You did photography for that, too, I right? did. There are individual competitions, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. But that one specifically, like, the Nasheed is a group one. Yeah. Because uh, a part of Nasheed is that it's mainly a cappella and just drums because there is, like, controversy with, like, strings oh, yeah. in Islam. Um, but, yeah, like, me getting rejected from it twice, and I'm, like, I'm literally the only bitch in here that knows shit about music. I was, like... That's so Are crazy. you the only one I knew about music there? Or yes, dude. Mm. W- a part of the audition was to sing Do. She would be like... What is that? Do. Like, like Do, do Re Mi. Re Mi Fa Sol oh, okay, okay, yeah. She'd be like, do you... Like, she wouldn't ask us if we know Solfege, but, like, that's what she was trying to, like, get at. Mm. And if we could match pitch. Let me see. Whoa, you, you show us real quick or not? Nah, what am I got? Why you? Do. <laughs> but that's the thing. I have to go and I have to calculate it. Okay. Bitches were not calculating. They were like, do. Yeah. The fuck is that? I ain't calculating shit. I'm just doing that. I'm just do. Right? I'm doing all that. I don't but it's do. like, bro, getting rejected from that. It's yeah. just like. I mean, fuck them type shit. You know what I mean? It doesn't Who cares? matter. Who cares? fuck. No, it doesn't. I think in high school, you definitely give a fuck. And you know what's so crazy? Yeah. When I was on the team, we won first nationally and regionally. Please. Exactly. Bye. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, I guess that was kind of my origin story. Okay, fun. Yeah. So then, this is Tampa. Like, what led you to Tampa. Miami? You obviously going to FIU. Hi, yeah. Okay. Um, not high school. University. Yeah. I went to FIU my first year, and I was actually supposed to perform at the fair that first year in yeah. 2020. The U fair. Yeah, but then mm. COVID happened. Were you gonna perform at that one? No. Nah. I don't. I, don't yeah. I actually don't remember. I'm not gonna lie. Cause Loki, okay, I think about that time, and I'm like, cause. How we followed each other on Instagram was because I performed at the youth fair. Mm. And, like, I'm like, if I performed that year earlier, like, if COVID never happened, would we have met earlier? Would you have performed again? Maybe, I don't know. At the youth fair? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, we probably would have met. met. But I'm just like, but I didn't see would the timeline would have been pushed earlier? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it. Just through IG? Or yeah. And same shit, you didn't see my performance either. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, so interesting. But, um. For sure, but like, yeah, to talk about FIU though. Know, you have a you have yeah. a degree currently. Yeah. Yeah. Digital communications with a minor in music business and mm-hmm. pre law, and yeah, it doesn't mean shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it does not mean shit. I have not had a communications job or marketing job. Yeah. Perfect. Like, eh, we'll see if we even want that. I mean, I feel like this is my marketing and communications job. Like, this is my everything job, I'm not going to lie. Um, trust nobody. Yeah. In terms of, like, bro, just all of that, marketing communications, like, yeah. But um, FIU was cool. I feel like my first year, I was, like, I feel like I was not really locked into, like, real life. Like, when you go to college and, like, I feel like you live in, like, Especially when you live on campus and you live around students, it's not real life. And this is a major shift now, too, because you're in Miami. Mm-hmm. Like, Miami's a, just a whole different ballpark than, like, Tampa yeah. or fucking DMV. Or you know what I mean? No, like, literally. You outside, like, low key, you feel me? It's your first exposure to that. So, like, uh, you know what I mean? Because, like, even, even I would say, like, this is when you started, like, working on, like, putting out music, right? I put or were out you my doing first high school song as well? on Spotify in 2019. What song was that? Room. Room? Mm-hmm. Okay. Room. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but, like, yeah, there wasn't really, like, I would make, I made, like, a music video for it, but it was more of, like, a, oh, I want my friends to record videos, and, like, mm. I'll just make a music video, put it on YouTube, that kind of thing. Mm. And then I started taking music more seriously during COVID, um, yeah. which was, what, 2020, 2021. Yeah. Because when you're serious about music, you make a song called Kakashi. <laughs> <laughs> That was such a Nardwar thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I no, that's actually so crazy. Yeah, you know what that song goes though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you find that? Shit? What do you mean? It's my job to find. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm yeah. not gonna lie though. I thought that song was so good. I mixed it so well. Like yeah. I thought in my mind, like that was yeah. Najee's like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But like no, because that's when I started. Just I was just making a hella songs. I was just recording shit. Mm. 
Bro, I made Kakashi. I made Ramona like that same time too. Yeah, Ramona's a classic. Yeah, that's like when I was watching Naruto and I was like actually in love with Naruto. Yeah. And now I'm like, man, Naruto that was fire. Is oh, so Naruto was fire. It's so good. But like, you know, I feel like, you know, definitely, um, I guess having this independence, right? Like you're, mm-hmm. you're in FIU, you're like living on your own. You have roommates. I know. had I had three roommates actually. Okay. You had yeah. three roommates. It you're was an interesting tapping time. in more to your your music and stuff like that. Yeah. I think it's it's just, it's really cool to see also just how like you know you also like attacked it in like several different aspects because like you were I feel like at first like you're putting out just songs then like yeah you have like music videos type shit yeah. you know what I mean like. Obviously, iconic sinkhole type shit. Ah, uh, iconic. Um, My final project. I forgot what song this is. I I, I want to say, I don't think it's promises where your ass is hanging out the car like a crazy oh, ass no girl. Oh, no more crying. No more crying. Yeah, type shit. bro, Josh loves that song. Yeah. I took that song off of streaming and yeah. he's so upset. It's, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. But um, but um, you know, you have like these, you have these songs, and you're also like making music videos for that. I thought it was really fire. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. How you got into like you know even just like editing, editing your own music videos? Is that like anything yeah. from like your dad? Because I know like he's like um very prominent like yeah. co- like video editing and, and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, no, all that stuff is from my dad actually. Like, he's the one who like showed me like editing software. Is like you know like every time I have a fucking problem with editing, I'm like, Baba, it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's required to fix that shit. No, be, literally, yeah. it's so funny. We were recording one time with um Rumi, I like. Bro, the the thing was not working. Like my DaVinci wasn't reading my files, and I call my dad and I'm like, "Baba, the DaVinci isn't reading my files. What am I supposed to do?" And I did this. Uh, of course, I restarted it. Da, 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 da. And they're like, "You're such a diva." I'm like, "He's my dad. Like <laughs> he's supposed to take it." <laughs> but yeah. um. But he's also a musician yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a musician. He was super, super like yeah. popular in Sudan because like he would make like um, anti-government music, mm. revolutionary music. Cause yeah. You know, all that shit in Sudan is literally, like, That's still how that shit happening. got banned at some point, no? The music. He, I think the story was that he was blacklisted from Sudan for, like, until the dictator got thrown out in, like, 2019. And then he went back in 2019. And, like, I remember he sent a video to our group chat because, like, it was him and, like, two other artists that, like, he would work with a lot because he had a record label called Nas Jota, mm. which means Nas is people in Sudanese Arabic. Jota is like ruckus, actually. Mm. That's so just that. Loki is project <laughs> ruckus in Arabic, but Nas is people. That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. actually so crazy, but yeah. Um, like people of, pe- like people of ruckus, because like, you know, Nas Jota, like they're like causing disruption with the government, stuff like that. But yeah, I remember... When I was really, really young, like when my brother was like two years old, they went to Sudan to film a music video. I couldn't come because I had school. Mm. Anyways, um, but they took my brother and they filmed a music video there. And then he didn't go back to Sudan afterwards. Like he had not gone from like, that was like probably 2006 to 2019. And then, yeah, they sent a video of like him in the airport and they were just like, a crowd of Whoa. people and they would you know i mean i don't know in like america but like a lot of immigrant parents will be like i'm so famous in my country yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just don't really and believe you're just it like, right? All right, bro. Yeah, yeah. and then i went and the thing is he threw a concert mm. for like after the dictator fell and stuff like after they overthrew him mm. and it wasn't it was legit yeah, yeah it was a f- bro the barricade was so far back yeah. so far back like imagine this is the stage the barricade was like past the camera oh yeah yeah it was crazy but That's it was right. super cool yeah. super cool time unfortunately i feel like it didn't amount to shit in sudan but unfortunately mm. you know we'll see inshallah khair. inshallah I don't know. Mm. yeah I'm but sure. i mean uh, i mean okay i was well, gonna ask you some questions too I mean, if you're ready. Since I you wanted to grill me. Nah, I ain't grilling you. Yeah. This is, I'm not even, I'm not even no. attacking you. This is all, this everything you're not, you know. You're not, yeah, you're this not. is everything you know. It's just, that was just so crazy. The Kakashi flow was so crazy. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I took that song down a long time ago. Yeah, you did. So I'm like, where the fuck did you find it? Genius? Yeah. I mean, bro, everything. I was already going to ask you about Mist. <laughs> Mist? I was going to ask you, yeah. I was yeah. going to ask you about that already. But you already brought it up. Do and then I was going to ask you about Nas Jota too. Oh, wow. Yeah. How did, so did you find that all through Google? Or is this stuff from our conversations and stuff? Yeah, like definitely like mm-hmm. pulling from stuff that I know. Mm-hmm. And then 
like doing my own research. Time, yeah, well, time, no, time. You feel me? I was like, so I was like, no way he found that shit yeah. after the because I'm thinking I'm like, damn, when I. S- if you search up my name, does all this stuff come up? Oh, definitely. Like, how much of it? It just depends on like how you do your research, bro. Like you can yeah. do your research on anything. Google like, Scholar. Shit. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. It's not even Google, bro. Like even when I'm trying to like market our music and stuff like that, like I have to think of like a way of like how to like do this like differently. Like just not going on Google and looking up something basic, but like just finding like I don't know, like mm-hmm. just different stuff to go about it. Deep dive. But um. Super super. Yeah, deep like deep. even I, I saw the video, bro. You like singing national anthem, bro. <laughs> you know Melody found that shit the other day. Yeah. Yeah. That's she crazy. She was like, "When did you sing the national anthem?" I'm like, anthem? What is, "Like, how did you even like? What? What was that like?" You did a good job though, too. I did, but the end was so ass. I'm not gonna lie. When I was yeah. practicing, I was belting, <laughs> and then I got on there and I'm like, yeah. "Why am I so scrawny?" <laughs> <laughs> and the rockets red again. But how did that go about? Like. Bro, that happened because, okay, you know this ASA party that I always bring yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. This ASA party that I threw in, tw- Najee, when was that party? 2022? Yeah, October 2022. Bro, it was a catalyst for so many things. But at that party, um, I met a boxer. His name's Raphael. Really good. 2021. It was 2021. Um, but I met this boxer named Raphael. And. Um, he, he came to the party and he was just, I don't know, he just introduced himself to me. I don't know how he realized that I was, like, running it. But I guess because, like, when you're running around frantically and stuff like that, it's easy to spot who's running the event. But um, they w- he just, I don't know how we got to the singing the national anthem thing, but he followed me and I guess he saw that I did music and he was like, oh, I have a match um, in, like, two weeks. Would you like to sing the national anthem? I was like, sure. I want to see a I want to see a fight. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like I really just want to see the fight. I don't yeah, really yeah. care about singing. That's what. Yeah. That's and true. then um, what happened? Oh, he knocked the guy out in like the first round. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. that's it. You're like, it's for you, Ryan. Pow. <laughs> no, but I was really like, damn, that's it, and that yeah. was it. I was like, damn, it was kind of boring, but yeah. That's the national anthem. For so far. I get shocked when people find it, and I'm like, if you literally search up Rayana Vasaid in YouTube, yeah, it will be, be the first thing yeah, that you which see. which is actually so crazy. Because uh, sure. it's like, what other video has that combination of words? Your Combination name? of letters, yeah. Yeah, which is interesting. Because, like... Unless it's like a school project. You know, I, 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 I even just think about your name, and, like, you know how... Because my name is... Ash is, like, a self name I came up with for myself, but mm-hmm. you just dropped the Abba Saeed. And just ran like what, what led you to like just being like I'm just gonna go by my name. I feel like Abba Saeed is too complicated for like even professionals to like hear and register. I feel like when it comes to artistry, things should be simple, you know. And I love my name. Like I think Abba Saeed is so cool. When I say Diana Abba Saeed, it just has such a good. This is your full name right there. No middle name. No, I have a middle name. Multiple. Because, like, in Sudan, they, <laughs> they want to know. Streets want to know. <laughs> Streets want to know. I don't want to get blacklisted or taken off the internet. <laughs> That'll happen? Are you a criminal? Like, what's going on? No, <laughs> it's just too many. <laughs> hey, fuck it. It's just too many. Listen. Rayan Ihab Muhammad Abbas Abba Saeed. Trigger warning. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I got $100 yeah. for anyone who can say that back to me. Tie it. No, I'm fucking. I got around. a tote bag for anyone. I got a tote it. bag right here. No, nah, but no, nah, I'm just playing. Keeping Dude, that. No, GC. No, but mine. I wanted to ask where Thelonious came from. Ha <laughs> Yo, what the hell? What is that? What's Thelonious? What's that? I'm confused. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Deny, 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 <laughs> deny. <laughs> what is that? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, all right. I don't really. I'm not really too vocal about like my full name type shit. If you know, you know it. Um, if you know, you know. Yeah, I think at this point, like um, at this point, Enough like majority. Know. No, I would say the majority of people in my life call me Aster. Like, mm-hmm. um, which is interesting because like a lot of people I went to high school with, like um, they know me by Miles, which is my first name. Um, so my middle name, my full name is, which is I feel so weird saying this. 
But my full name is, um, government name is Miles Thelonious Pickens. And then Miles, <laughs> Miles is after Miles Davis, um, a jazz player. And then Thelonious is after another jazz player named Thelonious Monk. Um, my dad really wanted to just have me, um, have my name, like, ride it around, around, like, I guess jazz musicians. It's so interesting because now I'm an artist. Not anything relating to jazz, but that's where Thelonious came from. Yeah. Thelonious Monk. That's good. Yeah. That's actually, because, you know, when you put it in that context, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Does it? But I'm like, where did Thelonious come from? Like, yeah. that combination of yeah. letters Yeah, no, that as name is name? interesting. I used, to not, I used to not fuck with it, like, as a kid. Like, I used to think it was, like, uh, like overly um, complicated type shit. Yeah. But then I just came to, like, appreciate it for its, its uniqueness. You know yeah. what I mean? As I got older type shit. F- that's exactly how I feel about my name. Especially Ryan. I used to go by Ryan. Like, my original, like, stage name was Ryan Osman. Oh, wow. Osman is my mom's um, name, okay. like last name. So mm. like, also I was like Osman so much easier than Abasayi than uh, first and last name. But now I'm like, Ryan is fire. Ryan is fire. And it's funny to me though, because everybody always assumes your name's Rihanna. Type shit. Yeah, Especially and I'm like, Instagram. yeah, it's because the way like, I, bro, I remember like, someone told me they thought my name was like Rihanna based. That's what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I'm like, I'm not, first of all, if you're based, you're not going to be putting out that you're based like that. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's Shout out Base God. Shout out. Lil B. Shout out Lil B. Wonton suit. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? Yeah, it's just like it literally says Rayan in my bio. Yeah. That's how people don't look. With you a know question mark. Read. With a question mark. Too. That's how you know niggas don't read, but yeah. they can't. Yeah. You know, actually, the whole theme of like this last week is that I feel like sometimes niggas cannot they they get to the thinking and then when it comes to that last step of con- applying <laughs> of it of cognitive reasoning it's like it's like let's stop here we've hit a dead end exactly you know what I mean? no like, more yeah. no more there's some people that that that, are, that like ask me about something and they're like oh do you think like rihanna will be about doing this too and i'm like nigga who's that <laughs> like who the fuck is rihanna <laughs> <laughs> it ain't hard to read, eh? Bitch, who the fuck? I mean, your name in my phone used to be Rihanna for the longest, too, because I, I thought that was your and name. And now it's withdrawn? No, I took that out. I oh, it's it. not withdrawn yeah, anymore? Yeah, I took it to, to Rihanna. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, crazy. I was Rihanna for a fat minute, because obviously I didn't speak to you, like, in person. Like, I spoke to you through, like, text. Through, through DM. Yeah. So I just was like, all right, I'm, I'm reading this shit, and Rihanna, and I have a cousin named Rihanna, too, so mm-hmm. I'm thinking, like, okay, like, Yeah, that's, Rihanna's kind of what people go to logically, because there's so many, like, People named Rihanna, like Rihanna J. Yeah, she's yeah. a singer. Actually, that's the only person I know. Doesn't really add to my <laughs> point. <laughs> kind of takes away. But I want to know where Aster came from. Yeah. So Aster is like extremely like um, kind of random. Cause I had a couple of different um, names type shit, which I feel so embarrassed to say. But I will. Cause I've been making music. I've wanted to be before music a though. rapper since I was like five years old. Mm. So my first rap name was like Ammo A M M O. So that's stupid. fire. No, that was so stupid. No, that's kind of hard. But it was something like my brother, my brother, like, kind of came up with in terms of, like, just me having his back. Like, I'm, like, his ammunition or some shit like that. Mm. And then I got older. And I was, well, I was, like, I think I, I like, 12. I was, like, no. And then when I had, like, 14, like, this is the dumbest name, actually. It was, like, Kid Combat, which was, like, so stupid. That's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I used to go, No, like, actually, if you put all these names in, like, a screenplay and made it, like, a show, <laughs> yeah. it could low-key, it could low-key bang. So, so I'm actually skipping over a name. I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking. So, like, it was Ammo. Then it was, uh, this is so cringe. It was Lil Lion, which was so stupid. Oh, Lil Lion. <laughs> so I forgot about that. It was Ammo, Lil Lion. I should have prepped that video. <laughs> no one could find that one. There's, like, videos of me on YouTube when I was, like, a kid, like, 11, like, it, rapping and shit. Please and find it. I can't even find them videos. My, the only person that could find them videos are my sister because she chronically, like, loves, like, teasing me about that shit. <laughs> And just making me feel super Ooh, embarrassed. And then your goddamn business. Fuck. But um, I'm gonna find out. So it was Ammo, then Lil Lion, then it was Kid Combat. Um the Kid Combat was like that was like from seventh grade to eighth grade. Then in ninth grade, I was like, all right, I don't I feel too embarrassed telling people like I go by Kid Combat. So I'm not a kid name. no more. I'm not a kid no more, even though I was a fucking kid. <laughs> so I was looking around, I was at this class and I saw the, I saw like some word astronomical or some shit. And I was like, um, let me, no, 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 no. And I was like, I'm, I think I'm going to go with Aster, Aster the Gemini. But also, my, my brother tells me all the time, because we used to play, like, games, like Skyrim and shit, mm-hmm. that, like, um, 
you would name his character Aster. I think I think it was Alistair. I, I could have swear your name is character was Alistair, but he said I took it from him, but mm. whatever. But at some point also, like, because in high school, I wasn't really, I was rapping, but I wasn't trying to put out music. I was mm-hmm. just rapping in school and shit like that. I was mainly doing poetry. And then... Um, Odd Poet. Odd Poet was my handle for a fat ass minute. Um, but um, I think I put out my first song and I was like, okay, whatever I put out from here on, like, that'll be my name. Mm. And then it was going to be some corny ass shit like Aster the Gemini or some shit. Oh. And then I was like, nah, let's do Gemini. Because I, nice. I didn't want to do Gemini because it's Sage, the Gemini. But obviously he's mm. not popping no more. Like, his <laughs> RP to his career type shit. Um, but... um. Yeah, so I was like, after the Gemini, and I kept thinking to myself, how can I like apply this to myself and make this have meaning? Mm-hmm. So I really went to play on Gem and Gemini and be like, okay, I'm a gem. You feel me? Everybody mm-hmm. around me is a gem type shit. I'm see, the prize. You feel me? So I was like, if you look at my bio, it says, um, born a gem and so are you. So then like, I break down Aster as like an acronym for different gems. So it's mm-hmm. like um, A for Amethyst, F for Sapphire, T for Topaz, E for Emerald, and R for Ruby. Mm-hmm. So... It's Aster the Gemini, Aster the Gem, you feel me? So Tight. shout out to all my gems. Gemini season coming soon. I'm sitting right next to a gem right here type shit. Gemini. Um, yeah, that's where Aster came Gemini's from. Gemini's unite. I'm just happy I actually put thought into the name because yeah. I feel like, I feel super cool about that. No, I feel no, really cool. No, it is cool. Yeah. I, remember some, I remember this, this nigga, <laughs> this random nigga following me on Instagram and I woke up the next morning and he sent me like a voice memo. He was like, hey, bro, just check out your page. And your name is fucking crazy, bro. I know we don't know each other, but like, yeah, it's just, just fucking crazy. And I was like, nigga, I feel cool as hell. Take shit. I'm the shit. <laughs> I'm a gem. So yeah, I'm the Born a gem and so are you. That's cool. Thank you so much. Every time I see like, um, every time I'm in a crystal store, or, like a little spiritual yeah. store, and I see a, like, a gem, gem that's in your name, yeah. like one of them that's in your name, yeah. like, that's Aster. Yeah. Every time I see an amethyst, I'm like, Disaster. Yeah, that's my favorite. What's your favorite gem, gemstone? Mm. Mine's definitely amethyst. Amethyst? It's just purple, just like a dark, mysterious color. I love that shit. Okay, mysterious. Yeah, low key. I'm so misunderstood. <laughs> I'm gonna shit my all black type shit, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm just like so misunderstood. You I'm so me? misunderstood. Honestly, I think my favorite gem, I have no idea. Do you, you're not into gems like that. I'm not into gems like that, yeah. but I have like some crystals and like. There's some, like, like I like jewelry a lot, yeah. you know? But, like, in terms of, like, actual minerals, like, I don't know. I just say minerals. <laughs> is, does it not count? It's stones. Are they not no, gems and sure. minerals? Yeah, no, I, get, I get what you mean. When you go, is it not the gem and mineral show? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that what it is? <laughs> that's what Melody told me. <laughs> nah, she worked at a crystal shop. She would know. She knows what the fuck she's... She actually yeah. gave me the cutest crystals um, last week. She gave me a really pretty rose quartz. Yeah, rose and quartz is pretty. There was, I think it's a rose quartz too, but it's like a candle holder. Mm. I've been using it as um, an incense holder. But I think my favorite gem, if I had to choose one, bro, like diamonds. Because I like the way that they sparkle. Not this nigga saying blood diamonds, y'all. You can grow diamonds in a lab. Oh, fuck with you. <laughs> they can be 3D printed diamonds. <laughs> Is that real? That's not a real thing. Yeah, no, they're lab growing diamonds now. G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun, I guess. Maybe if we can stop killing people for yeah, diamonds. If there's anything that, that you would want someone to grow in the lab, I guess it would be like a diamond, right? Or weed. Or weed. I don't know. Or, you know. Wow, actually, yeah. Right? That's Let actually, it that, that's it. Let it be diamonds. Because they're trying to, they trying to. They're trying to grow chickens in a lab, y'all. They're trying to grow people. People? That's not the conversation. That's for season two. Yeah. <laughs> season two, <laughs> we're going to get into the we, controversy. We're going to get into that shit. And the conspiracies. And the conspiracies of that shit. Mm-hmm. But um, I do have more questions for you. All right. I don't believe you. Man. I have to find them. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to refer back to my notes, though. No problem. Do your thing. You know, shake your dread. Shake your dread. I don't think the same <laughs> shit, low key. <laughs> Shake your dreads, shake your dreads, shake your dreads. I don't got you. I'm locking up soon, y'all. I think I think next year. Next year. What? Like, dreads? Locking up. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That's a commitment. I know, right? That's why I, I haven't done it. Are you ready for that? I don't know. Mm. I, I like switching my shit up. No okay. cap. I like yeah. people playing in my hair and shit. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah. I like, I can't have a style. He said pause. <laughs> I can't have a style for too long. I feel like even though my hair is curly like, all the time, yeah. I'm like, I feel like if I put it in a protective style, then I'm like, 
I really have to. First of all, I have to commit a bag. I have to commit a day. And then I have to commit a month for that style. Then it's like, I have to maintain this aesthetic for the next shit month. That's why, but that should be low key be annoying when we have like a photo shoot. And then like. Oh my God, because it's super. I can't. My hair is not done. No, nah, no. Nah, nigga, we did the last <laughs> thing with my fur out type shit. I mean, we I don't know if it's ever coming did. out. But like. <laughs> Wait, which. Oh, Misery. We, oh. Yeah. But like. Man. But like, what's it called? Um. No, I just be annoying when like we got a photo shoot and I have like cornrows and they've been in for like three weeks, so they on dookie type, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's just like fly flyaways and, and they shit. On fly away first you feel me? And I gotta put on a hat, but then my, my, my face look weird as fuck when I got cornrows and a hat. And then and then it just be it just be like, damn, bro, I don't got no no like on demand stylist who wanna do shit. You feel me? So it's like fucking. Anyone it's wants to be our hairstylist. Yeah. So that like, bro, it's, it, I hate Let when we about to do something or we're like entering an era, like, right? So like Entering an era is right? so true. We're entering an era about dropping a new song or some shit. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really get my hair like prepped for the era or some shit, mm -hmm. I guess. Like, but we did like, the era is like real. I feel like it's low key, like too, like prissy low key, like, cause I don't even like doing the same shit like that. But like, I, I remember when we did our show, um, Triple Threat, and I had my cornrows in, and I was like, I don't want like pictures of myself with cornrows for this. But fuck it. That's what your hair was? That's what it was. I gotta accept it. Didn't you wear a hat? It's not the same. Same shit. I don't know why you pretend like it's the same shit. It's not the same shit, bro. It's not the same shit. Like it literally is not even. It's not the same shit. I don't think it's the same shit. It's literally not. I promise you, it's not. I swear to God, I don't think so, bro. See, because then when I bring up some shit about my hair, bro, your hair be the same. You just have like wavy, curly hair. Am I am I saying a bad thing? You think it's so easy for you? He said, am I about to get canceled? <laughs> am I, yeah, am I, am I <laughs> you think it's so easy for me? I'm trying to remember when it was. It is so easy for you, bro. Bro. I really feel like you could wake up and go about your day. And your hair, your hair, your hair is fine, bro. I can. I just have yeah. to, like, drench it. And then I'm like, all right. I'm acceptable for society. Because, like, what else do you do to your hair? Because the only... It's, yeah. like, it's like, I know your hair like this. And I know when is, it's straight. It's our eras, though. It's, yeah. it's the thing that goes back to our eras. Like, the goth babes video... To get my hair into that wig, I'm like, fuck. Okay, that wig, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have to wash my hair. I have to stretch it out, and I have to wrap it. Because I'm like, I'm like, like babes. Remember, and I was trying to decide what wig, and you were like, it doesn't matter. It matter. I'm like, yes, it does. <laughs> They're different colors. They're different again. vibes. Okay. That wasn't even giving golf, though. Like, that shit was giving, like, It wasn't. Y2K. It was giving Y2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it. It, no, it worked out. It no, it worked out. It worked out for the fit. Because I was, too. I was thinking the black one, but I was like, the black one doesn't have length, and I wanted length. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I wanted like so shorter. many things you have to consider. I just need more wigs. Yeah. Any wig company wants to sponsor me? Yeah, after Yerba, we gotta find like a, a wig company for you. No cap. Yeah, I want, I wanted to ask a question though, because I, I feel mm -hmm. like I talked about your dad a little bit, but like mm -hmm. it's not much I know about your mom. But oh, I just really? know she's like I don't really know. I don't even think I know your mom's like first name. Like I know your dad's name is really? Ehab, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. It's so because my, my middle name too. But um, I really, but I do want to say I feel like she's definitely like a, a she's the reason why you're so like hardworking. Yeah. Shit. Does she have like multiple degrees? And my uh, mom. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. My mom literally got her PhD like when she was like pregnant with my brother and like finished it like when me and him were growing up and stuff. Like she's my mom is very like mom is so hard working mom's like such a career woman so like and she like she wants to be retired by now she was she was like she wants to be retired like a couple years ago but she got to go back to work unfortunately she got to go back but like yeah. she's super super like she's always been like very like individualistic she's a leo by the way my mom was a leo too that is funny as fuck Type shit leo women you should if you're raised by a Leo woman, you're good. Like, I don't think you'll have a problem getting around the world. But, like... I think I'm fine. I think I'm okay. I think you're good. Exactly. Happy Mother's Day, first off. Happy right. Mother's Day. <laughs> Back to the mothers. No, for yeah. real, shout out the mothers. I feel like um, my mom is very, like, always about get your degree, get mo get your money, get your job, get all your shit by Study yourself. Study that LSAT. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm in the library. Um, guys, wish me good luck on my LSAT. Yeah. And if the LSAC committee is watching this, like, come on, stop making that yeah, I wish test so hard. Yeah. Give me a five on my writing. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um yeah she's super hard working like i'm trying to remember where i was getting to with this but like even like my mom is like the mentor for like everyone like everyone in the world like my cousins go to her like our my close friends go to her because she did i don't even know where to start with her degree she started in um in egypt in the school in alexandria i think she was doing like maritime like engineering some shit like that and then she ended up doing engineering like completely and when back then back in the day to pass engineering like to get a degree in engineering you had to build a computer from your hands and if you didn't build it like you were set back a year and another year and another year whoa yeah so like it's it's not like these engineering degrees today where you're just going in and doing fucking differentials sorry Seema but yeah, no, she had, she had to build a computer. <laughs> Seema catching a stray is crazy. <laughs> Seema catching a stray and she's not here is so crazy. I hope she she's not watching this shit. But um, yeah, so she she did that and then she moved to the U.S. for her um, PhD. I'm pretty sure. But like, bro, my mom has a lot of specialties. Like, I don't know exactly what she did, but sh- what she has done, she's done cybersecurity for like governments like different governments she's done um it she's done uh risk like for amazon and like different companies like and i remember too she was working for what is it the that the the what was it not idea imf she was working for the imf what is it? the international monetary fund so they are like Right? I don't what know are what they? Is. I don't know what's they're, going on with they're that. They're an invisible force. Okay. They're don't get her in trouble. <laughs> no, she's not going to get in trouble. Yeah. They're an invisible uh, force, but she was working for so them. She was working for that CIA or some shit. Ah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. They're like, because they're, they're known. Like, they do okay. a lot of, like, humanitarian work in, like, different... Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, different, like, countries and stuff like that. So but they say, man. So they say. Real, do real, we really real, even... Ch- real assassins. Like... And you know what I'd be thinking about, too? Like, I feel so bad for people who work, like, within those jobs mm-hmm. because it's, like, you, like, I'm, like, damn, are are we making a difference or are we just spinning in the wheel, you know? Well, damn. Not to be philosophical. That's what, but she getting that shit. That's but she's super that's smart. Music, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I make music, to heal the world. No ah. type of shit. No, but, um, yeah, my mom, like, literally put me on to just – not being a fucking pussy i'm not gonna lie like she also like she's taught me like a lot like a lot like there's things that like i apply with like in my daily life and my friends and i'm like damn your mom didn't teach you this like your mom didn't teach you how to find north south east and west from the sun like i'm like (laughs) your mom didn't teach you how to drive stick shift (laughs) what you mean yeah, my, like, mom, my mom didn't teach me none of that. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's vibes. But my mom be cool as fuck. I love my mom. But your mom is cool as fuck, too. My mom's cool. My mm-hmm. mom's cool. I, I don't know mom. much about your mom. Yeah. I mean. Even though I've met her a couple times. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like I don't know much about my mom either. Like, she's very, she's, she's very, she, my mom's very, like, closed off um, person type type shit. Like, Do you think you'll get closer with her as you get older? I've gotten, I've gotten much closer with her. Like, I think when I was younger, it was, like, a little harder. Because um, she's also your mom. Like, she's my mom. I just, my mom, like, honestly, to, to be very transparent, like, my, I've, my mom's um, eight kids. So, like, you know, she definitely was one of the moms who, like, went to work, um, you know, like, all the fucking time just mm-hmm. to make sure we, we would eat. Um, we had a, like a roof over our heads type shit. Came home tired and mm-hmm. whatnot, and then we're just annoying as shit. We just wanted to play all the time. Annoying ass little just jisper. annoying as fuck. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, um, you know, I I love my mom. She's very she's very cool and mm-hmm. she loves me a lot. She she she's taught me how not to be a to be honest to not be a fucking pussy. Like I said, both of my parents they they be- definitely were like hard as shit on me, but mm. it's vibes. That's why I really don't be gonna fuck. About shit these days, type of shit. You and really helped me to not give a fuck. You and Seema helped yeah. me to not give a fuck. <clears throat> I don't care. I mean, I care. I give a. F- I don't give a fuck. But I mean, like, I, I give a fuck about the right things. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I try not to give a fuck about things that don't don't matter or don't make sense for me. Yeah. But my mom is very cool. She's a very loving person. She's very nice, um, type of shit. And I see a lot of myself in her. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. Yeah. What do you see? Like what traits? Um, uh, my mom is. 
This is getting personal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Should we do this, this off personal. camera? <laughs> Yeah, I, w- I would say my mom is very like you know she's very layered. She's very layered. She's mm-hmm. very hard. Um, she she doesn't like to like express a lot of her feelings. Mm. Um, especially like even her loved ones and her children. I'm the opposite in terms of like I express my feelings, but do like songs, I guess, and like poetry and whatnot. But and you be I'd showing your your parents your songs. I show them. They, yeah. they listen. Yeah, I, my, I don't. Yeah, my mom <laughs> like she she's very um she's very receptive to my music. She actually mm-hmm. gets pissed when I like. Don't show her. When I don't show her a new yeah. song type shit. Um, Aww, yeah, like that's so she follows me on Instagram, so I like post a yeah. snippet on Instagram. She's like, "Why are these niggas hearing this shit?" And I'm at the not. same time, that I'm hearing this shit. No. Yeah, yeah, no. She'll literally be saying that to mm-hmm. me, or like she'll be like, "Oh, what is this one?" Or or why? And I'm like, "Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Like I wasn't thinking." <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll this. send it to you. Cause it's bro, Cause she has an Android, so like sending her a music file is so annoying. Cause I have to like fucking email her and shit. So I just text it to her. I guess I don't. I'm, you know, respectfully. Y'all are immigrants. I'm, ah, like, I'm not an immigrant. So right. Like I'm an African American. I was literally about to say you're I don't not have an what's immigrant. Up. <laughs> Type shit. What's up? I mean, up? you're not an immigrant, but like, you know what I mean? Like, like your parents. I'm an immigrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, my parents are from here, so like, I don't use WhatsApp. Type mm-hmm. shit. So, yeah, but no, nah, she's very receptive. Like, she honestly be like getting mad at me because she's like, "Where's my fucking shirt? Where's my trust nobody shirt?" Type mm-hmm. shit. And I'm like. I got you, bro. I just got vibe, you, I got just you. Vibe, just vibe, That's so fire. Shit. And then here yeah. I am hiding from my mom online. <laughs> Which is crazy. I'm, I mean, not crazy. I get it. Cause you know what? <clears throat> I think is interesting about us is that, mm-hmm. you know, we're we're extremely different, bro. Yeah. Like, we're, we grew like up the same, differently. But very different. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're like, similar in a in unique aspect, bro. Because, like, yeah, even when I think about it, like, where I grew up and where you grew up and, like, the siblings I have and siblings you have, the mm-hmm. sibling you have yeah. type shit. Um. It's only one, right? So yeah, I have step siblings, but okay. never lived with them. Yeah. That kind of thing, you know. I'm like, yo, we're, we're just we're just so fucking different. Yeah. Which is, I'm like, I don't even know how we're able to make music together because does it make life it is make just s- crazy? I'm like, I'm telling y'all, like, I don't think it really makes any sense to be honest. With no you. type. I don't think it makes any sense because really when I tell people that like I make music, they're like, oh, do you make like Arabic music? Like, yeah. and I'm just like, oh no. Oh girl, <laughs> <laughs> I like I have, like I can, but like you did nothing. make a song in Arabic though. Yeah, are you? What's it called? It's called three. Was it? Yeah, three eunuch. Three eunuch. You, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So the three is like when you try to like write. There's like letters in Arabic that don't translate to English. They're not English letters. Like ain, ghain, right? You've been on that Duolingo. I haven't. I tried to learn Damn. Arabic on Duolingo uh, one day, and I said one day. I said, hey, the same for me, man. Dang. And I took a step back, and I said, "Real approach this when it makes sense." I did Ramadan. Yeah, y'all yeah, give me that. Mm-hmm. I ain't cheat. Take shit. Exactly. I ain't eat. From dust to dawn, little bitch. Stop playing with me. You Stop know what I'm talking about. Free Palestine. <laughs> but Tight. but um, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm Arabic. I'm telling you, that's it. Like Spanish, all the characters are English characters. Like alpha, yeah. like not English. Like they're the characters. Like I can the alphabet is similar. It's same. Mm-hmm. Arabic. I'm dyslexic. No, but Arabic, <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. It, when you translate it, though, it's mm. really just, like, three extra letters that are, like, remixes of other letters. So, like, Ra is R. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then we have Za, which za. is, like, the one right after it. So, mm. it's, like, the same mouth thing. Like, what's so interesting about Arabic and Arabic letters is, like, every letter goes through, basically, the different movements of your mouth. Okay. So, like, Elif, A. Ba, B, Ta, Sa, Jim, Ha, Ha. Like, you see how, like, my mouth is all moving and, like, the letters flow into each other? Yeah. English not like that. It's like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. What the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah. L, M, N, O, P? I think I need a tutor. I think I need a tutor, bro. Cause, like, I got you, bro. I'm going to get you uh, some Arabic little workbooks. Yeah. It'll yeah. be good. It'll but be then, good. And this is what I mean when I'm saying, like, we're so, like, we're so, like, different but similar in a unique way because, like, me and Rand are both black. Right, we share a collective experience of being black. And but Deshaun, like, you heard it here first. <laughs> but this is a Sudanese Muslim woman, you know what I mean? And Egyptian I am in, too. Yeah, an Egyptian. And I am a what in America what they would call an African American like black male, with mm-hmm. no real affili- affiliation to any like religion. You feel me? So even mm. culturally, like we just grew up like so 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 different. So different. Yeah, yeah, bro, like so different. That's so true. Because I feel like. Like, I'm black, but I'm not, I don't think I'm culturally black. 
I like African American. Yeah, like, like and that's you know like what a I mean? conversation in itself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's a whole uh, because, like, I feel like, like there are things that like my family didn't do that like, like Thanksgiving, like we're not making the same Thanksgiving meal. You know, I go to your house, like, you're not getting like, gorasa and like a turkey. You know what I mean? It's like, it will be like. A good Thanksgiving. It w- it's still it's still good either way. I love my my stepdad be chefing it up on Thanksgiving, but sometimes I just want some mac and cheese, bro. <laughs> like, why can't Yo, anyone in my family make mac and cheese? My mom made the f- <laughs> my mom made some fire mac and cheese. I promise you. Okay, Thanksgiving at your yeah, house this year. At my house, bro. That shit, it never fails. I promise y'all. Okay. But um, yeah, man, mm-hmm. it's so interesting type shit. But I am actually like over the past like year and a half, I've been very interested in like Muslim culture. Yeah. Um, or Arabic culture is it that one the I same or no? Like Muslim, Muslim culture is different, but Arab culture blends into Muslim culture blends into Arab cultures, mm. and Arab cultures do end up blending into the way they practice, mm. like like different cultures and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of things that like a Sudanese person would be like, oh, that's Arab, that's like not allowed, like that's. Okay. You know, people will say haram this, haram that, haram. because, mm. you know, <laughs> people put their own standards on stuff at this point in okay. this day and age. <coughs> but, like, for someone else, like, it won't be that big of a deal, you know? Okay. What I mean? Like, one thing would be, like, hijab, for example, like, the way girls wrap their scarves. Like, in some other countries, it's, like, really normalized for, like, people to have it, like, back here. They show their fringe, the little bang, you know? Look at the fringe. Is fringe is a bang. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, like... And then, like, in some countries, they do that. And then, like, other countries, they're like, girl, no forehead. Yeah. Not even forehead. I know that's not her forehead, bro. Exactly. I know that's not her forehead right now. Zhuk. Yeah. Zhuk. Yeah. But um, that's super cool. I was going to ask, what the what was your first recording experience? Like, oh, I don't even know. I think you told me that story the first time you went to a recording studio. But, like. Um, so mm-hmm. my first recording experience, first time I ever recorded a song, honestly, was with, um, someone that at a time, I used to call my brother, um, Drew, um, he, um, we recorded a song, this is when I was Kid Combat, called Acting Up, um, mm. on, on Audacity in his living room, Audacity. and that was vibes, type shit. Mm-hmm. When I got older, and I went to an actual studio with an actual engineer, I I cannot tell y'all why, but bro, I got so fucking scared. Mm. Like I got so nervous. And I was recording the song, and like the engineer literally snuffed on me, bro. He was like, "Why are you like?" He was like, "Bro, you wasting my time. Like, mm. you know, you you can't sit up here and record because nothing was coming out." And I think it was the singing part of it because singing for me was always so private, I guess. But mm-hmm. but and I just didn't like how it sounded. I guess I didn't I didn't know anything about like mixing. I was not a student of music. I just rapped. I was. I just rapped. So like when mm-hmm. I hopped into like the studio, I had no idea. Like there was like this whole like mixing process to make the vocals sound better. And your raw, you know, it will sound ass depending on the mic. It's, I didn't know all this other shit. I thought you just hopped in the studio and recorded that shit. And I don't know mm-hmm. why I never did any research on anything like that. Mm-hmm. Even in high school, I had no no idea what a studio experience was. Mm-hmm. And it was so bad. And then um, after that, I was in this fucking group called Team NASA. Um, that Team shit was so, NASA. so lame. We did, like, one song together. We tried to, like, do more songs, but, like, that shit was dumb as fuck. We did one song, and I called it the fucking when day. When was that? Like, high That was in high school. Mm. That's the only song I made in high school, um, type shit. And all four I, years? All four years. Damn. Only song that I recorded and, um, But you put were, out. like, writing other stuff? I was writing songs all the time. I just mm. didn't know, I didn't know what it was like. I didn't know how to find a studio. I actually yeah. was, also was super broke in high school. I had no job. Like, I didn't know... Nobody was giving me money. My mom ain't have it to give me no bread. Like, I was super broke. I was, mm-hmm. any clothes and shit like that, I was trading people and shit like that for, like, oh, you can have these shoes, let me have these shoes. Like, shit like that. I was, I was hustling, like, on my own mm-hmm. type shit. But, um, um, I mean, my mom bought me clothes type shit. But I mean, like, <laughs> no, I'm not, I, let, me, yeah, let me double down real quick. I'm uh, my fault. My mom brought me clothes and shit like that. I meant, like, if I wanted things and shit and, and if I want dress yeah like I had to get it on my own yeah you feel me parents but, never get you drip though but like. um what I was about to say um Team okay so my first official cause this is my official shit recording on my own I saw my homie um Tyson he's probably still one of the best rappers ever 
um, from South Florida. Um, I saw a video of him like in the studio, and I was like, "Bro, like, what studio is that?" And he was like, uh, "I think it's called Dirty Mike Studios, and it's in Coral Springs." And I said, "Bet." I called them, booked studio session for two hours, nice. and I went there, and I recorded this song called "Fuck Demon." It was a very fucking like uh, sexual song. Fuck Demon. Yeah, it's like. That's so interesting. It's like, I'm a demon. I get high and fly like the phoenix on fire. She told me she desired my penis. I mean, it, it's only natural. <laughs> the way she throw it back. She throw it back like a lateral. Some shit like that. <laughs> it was it was so, like, bad. It was so horny. Like, I don't know. That's, <laughs> my friend. It was That's boom actually bad some saw baby ass shit. Yeah, yeah. It was more boom bad beat, though. Like, oh, so baby never more, mind. He's more turn. Um, and then that was fire. That's that was, It was cool. That, that, that was straight. Because at that time, like, at that time, I was very confident in myself as a rapper, and I, I remember telling niggas all the time, if I take this shit serious, I'm going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. But I wasn't taking it serious, too. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And they'd be like, well, take it serious then. I'm take like, it serious, sure. like, stop But talking. that mm-hmm. was fire. But my previous experiences with other people and shit like that, I was nervous, scared, and intimidated. No mm-hmm. cap. And I had to just really get comfortable with myself. That's why I, mm-hmm. I, even my recording sisters now, I mainly like them to be like private. I've never been a nigga to be like, let's bring like 30 niggas to the studio and like smoking, fucking, like yeah. all that shit. Like is this just, is not a hangout, babes. Yeah, it's not a hangout. You know, I this mean, this is a fucking session. Yeah, and and more naturally now, uh, I know I'm diving deeper into mm-hmm. this than no, your going. first question, right? More naturally now, I'm able to record some of my friends because I'm most of my friends are musicians, so they they get this. I feel like there's like a, you know, they can relate to me in terms of like how I feel when I'm in the studio, yeah. um, type shit. Like they they feel naked as well, or or feel vulnerable naked. type shit. But I remember through certain experiences where I would try to invite people, and I'm like, "Why am I not performing as good as I used to?" And I'm like, "Oh, honestly, like it's it's not a safe space when like you're ruining other the people, vibe. yeah, like they are not here for the the vibes type shit." Mm-hmm. Or I'm trying to experiment, and they don't get the idea of it. So as I'm trying to learn from like my first vocal take and it doesn't sound good, I can see their faces being like, "They're not receptive." To yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, "Okay, this is gonna take like off. 30 takes for me to to get it." It's like. Mm-hmm. It's like falling and getting up. I'm I'm gonna I'm eventually gonna not fall anymore. Mm-hmm. But I think that first time I fall, they're like, "Nigga, you should quit." <laughs> <laughs> they're like, and "Yeah, this is not for you." you. Feel me? I had to realize that I'm, I'm I'm the only one that's gonna like see it through myself. So you know, let me just tell everybody to get the fuck out the studio. Yeah. Type shit. So Everyone get the fuck out. But no, like I'm more comfortable. Obviously, I'm with, even recording with you and shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, but even now, like singing shit, like. I I rather no one there. I rather just be me and the engineer. Yeah, he be telling me to get out of the room. Yeah, like honestly, why don't trust like, was so hard to record for me because I was just like, Rand's right here, <laughs> and she's so talented as a singer as well. And I'm like, bro, like, you bro, know, I'm not I even that to. good. I had an interview the other day to for music teaching job. And they asked me to sing on the spot, and I had not, I have not been practicing. I should be because we have a show in a week. Yeah, we do. But like daily exercises, breath work. I haven't even been sleeping. I have yeah. no breath to go off of. No, so, I've been lacking too. No, I need to <laughs> practice more. That's why I'm like, bro. Honestly, after this, after this um, party, I'm like, this summer, like for us, I'm mm-hmm. being real with you. Like, this is gonna be like our music summer. Like, we need to write more, record more, cause like, yeah, we need to do that this summer, bro. We'll still do events, but what we're doing, we, we got a show coming up July. Be on the lookout for that. But like, we need to like get into that habit, cause we've been doing the, the business and. Yeah. All the other shit around it, and it's like we need to focus on the I'm music. music. Yeah. No and getting better at it. And you yeah, I mean? getting better at performing, like yeah. just having more stamina. Yeah. Working on our performance, like choreography, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like, yeah. damn. So, like, I'm tired. <laughs> how do you, how do you feel like, um, how do you feel like, no, like, no, if when Trust Nobody first started, do you think like we'd be at, we, we really ain't shit now, we still ain't shit. I feel like we're still very in the beginning stages of trust shit. nobody, but like I think when we were in my room and just concept- conceptualizing like blood and shit, mm-hmm. how do you feel like, like uh, you know things That's have changed? So like how crazy. do you feel like how do you feel compared to that? Dude, it's low key surreal because I'm thinking about like I'm literally like when you said that it took me back to being in your room and like recording blood or like writing writing why would I trust you? And I'm like no, I did not think we would have a podcast. Yeah, no right key, now. right? Like that's actually so yeah, crazy. Yeah. And like when we put this on Spotify, I'm gonna listen back to it and I'm be like, this is so crazy. Like I don't know, I didn't think I did not think like we would be doing all of this honestly. I thought, well, my, like, schema of things was, like, oh, we release blood, 
and then I don't know. And then blood does something. Blood didn't really do anything on its own. Like, it set foundations for us, but, like, it's not like, oh, blood blew up and, like, now we're, like, signed or whatever like that. But, like, it's because now, because we also know how we can, like, control our music careers and, like, be our own managers and our own, like, everything, actually, because we are. Like, it's more, like, realistic now, you know? And it's more, like, tangible. But it's also, like, okay, but, like, where do we go from here? Like, what are we going to do? Are we going to do events our whole life? Are we going to make more music and then do albums? Like, when are we going to tour? But all that stuff is, like, in time. Yeah, right. I think everything I, has its moments. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you on that. Blood didn't do anything for us, cause like. Oh, what do you think? No, I definitely did. Cause, just, bro, if you look at your phone, Could bro, what it say? Baby first Moss Pit. Time. You feel me? Like that's our logo. That's, that's one true. of our our designs. You one feel of me? our essential designs. Came from our came from our first song type yeah. shit. Yeah. You feel me? The shirts. The shirts and shit we make and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, it, it was. I mean, I think we had like higher expectations. I think. You know I mean, what I everyone fuck with always about us? has higher expectations when you release a song. Yeah, you're like, this the one. This the one. But this the know, one that's gonna get us out there. And we put a lot of a lot of work for that song. We you did know? put a lot of work. But I think you know what I fuck with about us is that really, really, li- li- I have to kill everybody that, that um heard me stutter just now, low key. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but like, you know, what I fuck about us. We're really realistic. Cause yeah. like we, you know, a lot of niggas, bro. Like honestly, like will make music and just keep making music and be like, I'm just keep making music. And that's fine. I think yeah. low-key, like, if that is your role, that's your goal for sure. But understand what that, that encompasses. You feel me? Like, you need to be really good at what you do to work. You're and attracting you have to be people. in the right spaces. In the right yeah. spaces where you're Or you're just blowing up online, honestly. Yeah, right? But, like, I think me and Rand was like, you know, we need to, like, make the music and put, like, a lot of this other shit in our hands to, like, reaching out to people and, like, trying to, like, find out how to do our booking own events, shows, booking shows, yeah. like, making videos and doing yeah. all this shit, getting making merchandise, getting on playlists, playlist, like, yeah. doing all this shit ourselves and not relying on, like, making music and hoping someone fucking Listen. listens and finds us on some lottery shit. No, literally. I, I promise you, I promise you that a lot of people, like, that reach out to us now, reach out to us because of, like, honestly, the work we put in around the music. And not mm-hmm. just, not even, because, bro, some people will hit us up because they, they like, they look fire. And they haven't even listened to the music. <laughs> like, yeah. they're like these these guys just look cool. I love, cause I love that one song. I love song. that that um that song I got called Mosh Pit. I love that song. It's I like, love that song. You, you, did you listen? Like, you know, did I know you, you listen to you said play? Mosh Pit. But no, because they didn't even press play you know on the mean? song. They just heard the yeah, Mosh Pit. The Mosh Pit. The audio part. of the video. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like it's like okay, we did something right because you're reaching out to us. Say mm-hmm. shit. Even though the goal at the end of the day is to get you listen to the music. Yeah. Bitch, listen to the fucking music. Listen you to the me? song and like actively listen. Yeah. You know and what this guy listen, told yeah. me yesterday? What? He came up to me at the party. He was like, he was like this. Wait, I think it was Riggs actually. He's like, he's like, bro. <laughs> he's like, bro. Fall for me. I listen to that shit every day. That's cap. I swear to God, ask him. Okay, yourself. hey, he Did got it. Okay, yourself? Riggs. All right, he okay. was like, that that song is so good. Yeah. It's just it's just so beautiful. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. Hey, thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. That's some real shit. That's some real shit. But I'm like, yeah, like listen to the songs, actively listen to them because like I'd be sneaking shit in there. Yeah. Maybe I said your name. Nah. She didn't she ain't say your name, gang. She ain't done listening for that, I promise. <laughs> listen to that listen for the ad lib. Listen for it. But I mean <laughs> No, I haven't said anyone's name in a song. Uh, but I do want to say this though. I didn't expect this to be where we are right now. I didn't expect this to like um have a fucking podcast or or like planning our own or shows. An event, you yeah, feel me? Throwing an shows. event, shit like mm-hmm. that. And traveling, especially traveling together type shit. Yeah. Um, we've already been in New York, uh, and then we've been New to York, Lancaster. Lancaster type shit. And we might be in Dallas in November, type mm-hmm. shit, we'll see. But yeah, and all, and everybody that helped us out with the with like, you know, voting for us as well. You know, Shout out everyone who voted for I really forget that we did that. I forget we did it too sometimes, type shit. Wow. And it just lets me know that we are in a beautiful community. And there's yeah. a lot of people that believe in us. This is bigger than just me and Ryan. Yeah, trust so, nobody is not just us. So thank you guys so much. I mm-hmm. genuinely like I don't I don't if I could be like very transparent, like I don't know where like Ryan sees just nobody in the future. I don't know where I see We don't know what just yeah. nobody in the future, but we don't know each other's thoughts. People I ask know, us they're like, What do you what do you think Astra will I'm like, girl, I don't know asking yeah. myself. I know what I wanna do right now and this is what I wanna do. I wanna yeah. focus on this. I'm just taking a day at a time. 
mm-hmm. type shit. Type. I agree. I think like it's important for us to like set goals for ourselves too, but like I definitely agree that like you know having like those expectations of like oh okay like if we're not on tour by in a year or two years like then we didn't make it like that idea of music career is like out of my head now like it's been completely dissolved because it's not real like it actually does not happen most of the time and like just being able to like have the freedom and accessibility and like even with the grant too like the just the access to like do shit now is just like so much better than like signing to a label and then you know <coughs> doing whatever the fuck that is i really can't wait to put on the music bro what's oh next no. i'm so s- oh no i'm excited because yeah. i really want like i think the misery shots were super cool yeah like i want to make a little little video for but that are we doing the misery so good and goths next oh goths is next yeah yeah, yeah. You, is goths next yes i feel like no i feel yeah. like it should be Song of the summer. Yeah. Damn, I gotta edit that video. Oh, we got more to shoot. We got more to shoot. For God. I feel like it. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want to shoot for God? Talk about later. Guys, we literally rented out a studio and shot a video in the studio. It wasn't enough content. That shit was like. Yeah. It's not enough. Yeah. No, you're right. We should throw a party. We should throw an actual party, in a in a closed space. In a closed space. Yeah. Take shit. Who would come? No one would come. Najee would come. No, I'm putting in the camera. But the Najee better bring his ass there, though. <laughs> nah, whoever watching this shit gonna come. Whoever watching this shit gonna come. Let's see what whoever watching this shit has to ask us, actually. Let's see what they say. Oh, hold up, hold saying. up, hold up. Because let me, let me, cause I, I up, screenshotted up, some up. shit, too. Um, let me count my breath. I don't even know. We don't, we don't got no motion, bro. We don't got no motion. We don't got no motion. Hmm. They ain't wanna ask us shit. No one asked us anything. It's because we're trash. But this was super last minute, too. It but was. But no, 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 no. You no. did post it this morning. No, no, we got questions right here. Oh, f- yes. So I'm going to start I'm gonna start off from um Idiot. <laughs> hey, which is funny because it's, it's just on TikTok. I hate to say his name's Idiot, but that's literally his name on TikTok is Idiot. But he supports us so much. It's, it's so far. Shout out to him. No, shout so out to So he said, what are your musical influences? Shoot. Everything, not gonna lie. Yeah. I think like when it comes to trust nobody, mm. title flight, yeah. flying fish, Kenny Mason. Flying fish, yeah, I, for show. Sure. Yeah, flying fish is fun. Um, yeah. Who else? Paramore. I would say Willow. Willow. Willow for type. sure. Um, type shit. But also, I think about like our like individual. I think about not even individual, right? Like, cause I'm like, okay, it's crazy, cause like right now, if I look at like our demos and shit, like our most conducive sound is like a softer sound, cause like. Yeah. It's like f- f- or fl- fight or flight, fight or flight, vessel, vessel misery, misery, all in the same bag. Or like, yeah, they're literally, literally like in the same bag, and they're mm-hmm. very chill. Like, and it, they're kind of in the same bag as Roda Trust You too. Yeah. Fight vessel, uh, kind of. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. So like, I don't know. so like, so like to me, I'm like, damn, it's crazy because I really thought our bag would be like more like blood. Blood. Yeah. Which it is. You know when? No, honestly, when we wrote blood, I was like, we're not making a song like this ever again. No, that's not. It's like there's no way. Yes, there is. What Bro, you mean? I feel like I I feel like we tried with games you play, and I'm like, it's kind of. No, no, no. The no? the problem with games you play you play is that. You know what? I love Bear's my films. Come in here nah, right now. I love my films, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna be 100 percent real. That was supposed to be a Trust Nobody song. And then, you know, it was like, you know, niggas. You know what? I'm glad it's not a Trust fingers. Nobody song. Nah, that song, that song is not bad. That song is, that song is actually pretty fire. But niggas were putting their fingers in it, and it was kind of like, you know, I think it should have just stayed as a TN song, but it was like a more so became like a song with like other people on it mm. and whatever. But like, I really feel like if we were in a space where me and you worked on that song together, that just us type It'd be shit, different. it would be different and mm. you would probably like it more. Because, like, bro, you mm. only recorded your shit, like, once. It's not like... you Because y'all said, it's good, it's perfect, next. It was good, but, like, nigga, if you feel different about it, that's fine. But the thing you is, when me? I feel different about a song, like, in terms of recording, I'll just re-record it. I'll say I just That's what I'm saying. You, but but you're not trying to do that no more. It's not even about the recording. What the melody's that? in my head. Like, yeah. the song is in my head. I just don't like the song. 
I'm gonna let y'all see what the fuck she's talking about, and we gonna see. You should upload it on SoundCloud, honestly. It's, it's not even done yet. I mean, done yet? A, I mean, this shit getting done. I mean, that song's not even. Ferris, out. games you play getting done? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, cause honestly, you know what I was thinking. You know what I was thinking. Actually, yo, Ferris, come here real quick. Oh yeah, just yeah, come you, in, you should get here, on camera. Fuck it. You know who gives a fuck about guys? This? So literally, this is Ruby. This, this is Ruby. This is Ruby. He like. Makes more than like half of our shit, but this is our shit. Ever. You know what I mean? Ever, ever. Um, hey. Real quick, real quick. I was thinking, <laughs> you know my idea for, sit right here. Just sit right here. Look, Come. Sorry. I'm glad I'm on the podcast. How you doing? <laughs> you know what I was thinking, bro? Like, honestly, at some point, I would love for you. Like, if you, like, fucking, like, made your own tape. Like, DJ scheming them and shit like that. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I think games you, shit like games you play, mm. and, like, Chainsmoke or other songs. Like, I'm like. With, like, the you Rumi know, sound on it? Huh? Uh, yeah, like, just like a I just, I'm just like, yo, if we have these songs that you produced and are mixing and mastering, and they kind of fell through the cracks. Nigga, you put them out. You feel me? Like, what, what do you, what do you think about that? Stay tuned. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Exactly, exactly. Okay, yeah. I would love that, bro. I'm like, down. you feel me? You've done so that. Right? Oh, definitely, bro. And honestly, I would like. I have some key individuals that I would like on that tape anyway. I've been, been meaning to talk to you guys about that. But uh, okay, okay, let's okay, do it, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice, 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 um, nice. nice. Damn. What time is it? Should we it's, perform? It's I want to say like 140. 132. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's give it to like eight more, eight more. Do you want to set up over there? Yeah, I'll set up. All okay, right. That, all right. So, we'll see you. So, should we keep talking No, no let's shit? keep talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then when, when it's time, just let, let us know first. Gotcha. Um, Real. But. Um, yeah, games you play, bruh. The B&B is honestly so, I, I miss the B&B. The Vim b &B, yeah, I miss it too. Miss Shout it out too. all our Vims, bruh. Dude, we didn't make, we haven't made, made oh. We didn't make anything except for Empathy, Games You Play, Boricua. That's Chagusa. Oh, I mean, I guess. Boricua, like, uh, it's not really. We didn't really. make any Trust Nobody songs. Yeah, 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 which is fun. I mean, the first one we did, which was Happy, which is and never fall coming for out. Me. And, and Fall For Me. I feel like it's kind of unfortunate how he's not coming out. But like, it I'm can over come it, out. Though. Nah, I'm over it, low-key. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I uh, just can't believe you go so, so easy. easy. Nah, you're too slow. Baby, come back to me. I just can't believe you go so easy. You're going too fast, Maybe actually. I am going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, was, but, what did I want to say? Because I was thinking the other day, I'm like, damn, we got these demos and shit. We have so many demos. Yeah. And I literally forgot about Happy. But I'm like, and you know what I was scared fine. of when we first started out? I was like, damn, we don't have a lot of music. Like, what's going to be our next release? Then yeah. Now we have all these demos. Yeah, it's just about finishing low-key, right? And that's what I'm talking about in the summer. I'm like, bro. We like, just, just, just got to lock like, in. Lock in and organize. No more outside. Yeah. Oh, I can't say bye to outside. <laughs> I haven't been outside in so long. Oh, wait. Damn, did we answer? Uh, I'm sorry. I just got we so didn't even answer any of the other questions. That's okay, our musical influences. All right, we said like... Like, Bro, we um, said so many people. Fighting, yeah, we said so many scenes. Flying fish and whatever. So, um, Buffy says, how does the Florida music scene feel right now? It feels... <laughs> I don't know. You should answer that question. No, you're part of the scene, too. I'm part of the scene, but I feel like I didn't really see... It says, how do you feel about the music scene right now? Currently. You're part of the scene currently. How does it feel to you, bro? Let me tell you how I feel about the scene Yeah, right talk your shit, bro. I feel like... It's, you know, like, it's got potential. Like, there's shows every week. There's stuff going on every week. There's stuff going on every weekend. But I'm like, what is going on, though? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like there's always so many different things, which is great. But I'm like, what is the purpose? There's so many different people here that it's and so many different com micro communities that it's like, all these people are doing their own little things with all their own little people. And it feels so disconnected and spread out, you know? I think so. I think there's, it's like there's no community within the, the communities because, like, there is, like, and this is, that's such, like, a dumbass thing to say, right? But, like, it's like there are so many communities. Like, there's the rave scene. Then you have, like, the rappers. And you have, like, this, like, you know, this real, like, it's like this real, like, I hate to say this. I sounds like green. Say This real demonic ass. <laughs> this real ass demonic ass emo scene type uh. shit, which is not the same as the rock scene, but, like, that's its own, like, opium, like, mess rock shit going on. Mm -hmm. And there's just so many different scenes type shit. Um, and it's like, but these scenes are, like, so clicked up. You feel me? And it's so like, clicked up. There's no, like, 
any of these people coming together, I feel like the only person really bringing different type of artists together is Lunas because Lunas Shout have like Lunas. these multi genre shows with like rappers, singers, and mm-hmm. and rock artists and DJs as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I can I cannot I, you know and I'll say this though I could be misspeaking because I don't go outside too much mm-hmm. to like say like um, there aren't other shit like that happening because I'm also clicked up. I don't want to be clicked up type shit, but I am. It's just it's, it is what it is. Like fortunately type shit. I'm hoping like. You know, later on, I'm able to, like, bring more shit together and go to more shit. But the music scene is beautiful. I think the one thing mm-hmm. that's lacking is a progress, uh, a, a progressive factor in the scene. Yeah. And what I say about that is that, like, yeah, there's a lot of shit that's happening because we just want to have fun and we just want to throw shows. It's mm-hmm. cool as fuck. But it's like, you know, I'm, I remember watching this Willow interview and her saying something about how, like, she tries not to, like, have, like, a performance high after she does performing. Because she's like... You you do a performance like artists will do a performance and they'll maximize that performance in their head and be like ah man this was so fire like blase blase and it was fire but nigga you about to go back to your nine to five on Monday Tight. you feel me and then after that it's kind of like nothing really happened mm-hmm. you feel me this and so like there's nothing in the scene like helping to progress artists after they have like a big ass show or mm-hmm. great ass performance it's kind of mm-hmm. like you gotta do that on your own you I agree me? because also like one thing that's really lacking within the scene is like that type of education on independence and like musical independence career independence like all these things like don't exist to be honest there isn't even really a pipeline for artists to be working full-time you know what i mean working as artists full-time working as musicians full-time from the scene like that progression does not exist there's no pipeline like which is so crazy too because there's so much talent in south florida like not even to be like yeah, it's it's so crazy. Like we have a lot of artists Beautiful. that live here, and they move to other cities to try to find opportunity. But it's like you're just a smaller fish in a bigger pond now. And why aren't people coming here? There are people that are coming here. Like I'm not gonna mm. lie, Three Points is w- one organization, like one brand, one festival that does work with the scene. Like they local do, artists. you know, th- they support local artists. Like that is. That's someone that's actually fact, doing some say. shit. But like all these other festivals and like like niggas want to be on the new wave and like be like, oh, I found them first. I found them first. Like actually you didn't because when they were throwing house shows, when they were throwing these shows at, you know, th- the the backyard or like, you know, Naomi's garden, like no one was there. None of y'all were there. Like be so for real. And I don't mean to be like, shady but i'm actually gonna be so shady i'm actually gonna be so shady (laughs) because it sucks because it's like it's like that's exactly what we're talking about about the whole like um being able to like what we see for trust nobody and when people like gas up their singles in their head they're like oh i'm gonna release this song and then that song's gonna do something for me it's because like that's what you're taught like that's what the music industry propaganda teaches you that like just make good music and your audience will find you like no, actually, that's yeah, it's like kind of more work. That's I like mean, it happens. step zero. It happens, but I was I was be honest. Like, there's definitely more work you have to do. Always more work. So yeah. let me do another question. This is from um, HC underscore Avado. What's your favorite genre of music and favorite artist of all time? Mm, favorite genre of music. My favorite genre is hip hop. Right now, though, I've been listening to a lot of like Indian R and B, a lot of like slower shit. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Favorite artists are all time. I'm going to have to go with Abso or Kendrick Lamar. Either, either, either one or two. Or actually, I might not like us. I might go with Kenny Mason. I've listened to him like a lot the past three years. Like I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. If I got to be like realistic, yeah, he's really, yeah. I fuck with music a lot. Real. How about you. I think my favorite genre. I have a lot of favorite genres. I'm not gonna lie, but. Maybe it's like either bossa nova or Ethiopian jazz, because I feel like that's what I can listen to all the time. Like if I had to listen to one genre of music the rest of my life, Ethiopian jazz. It's just so good. There's everything in it. There's rhythm. There's vocals. There's storyline. Like there's there's a lot. And I'd say my favorite artist of all time is probably. Um, Hmm, that's such a hard question. I don't know. Maybe um, Fall Out Boy. I feel like... That, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of fun. I don't know. I feel like they're like the a consistent... Like, I mean, not consistent now. I haven't listened to any of their new shit. But like, 
throughout like my childhood <clears throat> and like what I've listened to the most like if I think about the albums like how many albums do I know how many songs do I know like <clears throat> that list is just crazy all right this is from Melody and what made you two want to make music together mm. what was it what I was think it? I didn't give a fuck. Like, I was like, let's yeah. just do it. I was it's just like, like, let's make a song. I don't want to make it deeper than what it is. Like, yeah, Ryan definitely was like... Um, I was literally just like, oh, this is fire. We should make music. Yeah. Literally. And, I, and then I unexpectedly was just like, let's fucking do it. Nice. Type shit. Yeah. And I think I just fucked with blood. So, bl- I, I, I'm not going to say I fucked with blood so much. It just took a lot to create blood. Like, in terms of, like, remaking the beat, um, mm-hmm. shooting the music video... Editing the music video. Mm-hmm. But like, the thing is, even before the music video, Trust Nobody was a thing. Yes. But I'm saying, I'm mm-hmm. saying like, I'm saying like the commitment to like actually like being Trust Nobody. I think it was more so like being like, I have to do this because like I'm seeing, I'm seeing this one song through more than I've probably seen like majority of the music that I've put out. Mm, type shit. I see what a lot of the saying. songs I have aren't accompanied with a music video or aren't yeah. accompanied with this super like big ass release. I was just fucking. My fucking process for putting out music was like, go to a show, perform this shit like eight times unreleased to where everybody fucking knows this shit. Then they're waiting for it to come out. These people know it, yeah. Then it, yeah, then it comes out and then it fucking blows up type shit in the local scene. And then, but now it was like, now I'm doing TikTok type shit. I'm doing the same thing. I not really. I didn't really perform blood before it came out. It was just more of a commitment. Mm -hmm. And then. Yeah, I mean that's for me. Like, yeah, I didn't yeah. even give a fuck, and then, uh, I just I just enjoyed this shit. Yeah, literally. You know I think mean? for me, I just saw like the potential in the songs, and I was like, it was so easy to write blood, and why would I trust you, bruh? Th- like, yeah. everything gonna be yeah. like when the music comes easy. It's like, it's yeah, it's that's good. that's literally the code. Like yeah. that is like you want to know how to be a musician. Music has to come easy. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie, cause if you have to work at, obviously you have to work at your craft and like be better. But like, if the songs, I also feel like I wasn't really like I always put meaning in my songs, cause I'm writing about like shit, you know, like actual shit that's happening. But like, I feel like when you collab with other people, it's so easy to be mindless. Like you're just writing to like fill in. Okay. But, like, when we would make music together, I'm like, no, this is actually something, you know? Yeah. Someone's going to listen to this, like, we're actually saying something. Even though we're saying, why would I trust you 5,000 times? That shit sticks. <laughs> that shit sticks. Um, This is a good one, sound like. So, name your favorite song from an artist you personally know. Ooh, my favorite song from... So Fargo by uh, Rain vs. the World. Oh, okay, okay. That I like that. That's so fun. good. Okay. I'm about to go um, Contact High by Phoenix James. Oh, sorry. Nah. <laughs> just in the sauce. No, 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 no. Contact High. Hey, I'm stealing limbs. You went until I had it. I'm stealing limbs. Like, <laughs> limbs is one of the greatest oh, limbs, songs limbs in the world. Limbs is good as fuck. Limbs is good as fuck. Oh, my God. Limbs. That shit is so good. If, if, I, if I speak about someone that I know, like, who makes music, talk to people with people that I know that make music that I genuinely enjoy, I'm going to have mm-hmm. to go, like, um, I'm going to have to go Phoenix, mm-hmm. um, Cosmo, then mm. fucking MMW type shit. I can mm. go to MMW shit. I love MMW shit. Wow, he told me to stop lying. First of all, listen, I don't listen to MMW music. songs. To, um, are you serious? Bittersweet, Daydreams. Um, and then what's that one song with Melody? She I'm on up. my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Niggas yeah. come Pennywise. Yeah. You're not ready. I'm not yeah. ready either. Pessimist, bro. Hurt people only hurt Because I'm a fan. Type shit. <laughs> Listen. Hey. But that's also like not really my bag of music, though. Nah, I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. You, you. you know? So, but, um, um, mm-hmm. one more. Because I... Oh, yeah. I, I don't, Should we start performing? I feel like two o'clock is done. Like, be real me. All right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Let's do like two more questions. Okay. So Juno says, "How does one trust somebody?" Um, this is this is my answer, real quick. It's you trust don't. nobody, nigga. You asking the wrong questions, type shit. It's like it's like asking a question or the answer to type shit. I'm not gonna convince you to trust people. I'm not gonna tell you to trust the person you love. I'm not gonna tell you to trust your mama on Mother's Day. It's trust nobody. That's it's branding, bro. Like you're not gonna get me to slip up. It's not even branding at this point. I low key, I don't know if it's because of trust nobody that I have this mindset now, yeah. or just the actions that have occurred in my life and since then applying. Why would I trust you to every situation? Has mm. just increased this. What is it? Confirmation loop. But 
it's really like you can't trust anyone. Like yeah. even like I love my mom. I don't be trusting my mom. She be saying shit. She changes her mind the next day. <laughs> That's my mom. You know, Yo, trust, trust nobody. Her. I think I trust her. I trust him. Some. I don't. And you can delegate trust. You know, like I trust that Aster's gonna, you know, post if I ask him to post. You know, or like just at the bare minimum. <laughs> like. That's a really all you can, you can't even expect the bare minimum, bro. If you don't want to be disappointed, trust nobody. So this is the last question um, from Taste My Nightmare on TikTok. From where y'all are right now, what would you tell your younger selves? Just said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go first? Um, I would tell myself to just keep, keep going, just keep writing, keep writing keep and rapping. Writing. I honestly mm-hmm. was doing that so much. I would walk to work freestyling mm. and, and this is in my local town in, in Primer Pines where like people I went to high school with would just, I had no car. They would drive past me like while I'm walking to work and you just take a picture of me, send it to me on Instagram and be like, how you talking to yourself? And then I would respond back and be like, I'm I practicing. No, I'm practicing. Mm. I'm practicing to get better because I love this shit. You Period. Feel me? I just tell myself, just do it. Just yeah. keep being obsessed. I find myself not as obsessed with it as I used to be. Mm-hmm. And still hungry, but just not as obsessed type shit. I used to be yeah. extremely obsessed with this sport of rapping and just being an artist type shit. Mm-hmm. So I just tell myself, just don't lose that. Be obsessed. Yeah. I feel like I would tell myself to, like tap in like literally not even tap in but i'd say like just do other stuff like just try other things because i feel like i'm grateful for covid because it introduced me to a lot of excuse things. me no i'm grateful for it I'm, I'm playing, I'm fuck with you. First, first time in my life like quarantine uh, quarantine yeah, yeah i'm grateful for quarantine because it brought like it brought me to a place where i could just lock in but i'm also saying like, you yeah i would just say Luck in. That's really it. And them white girls are not that pretty, bro. Stop comparing yourself. Like, please. Wow. I'm going to agree. I, think I, I would give I'm that to agree. every, like, if I I'm could talk agree. to every young girl, I'm gonna step my even dog. boy in the world, like, them white girls are not that pretty, bro. Chill out. I don't know if we should bleed that out. We better perform, though. <laughs> He got it. He said, stop. <laughs> he said, we got to stop talking. <laughs> Slay. We're ready to perform, right? 